Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh and I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix version 6.7 client portal configuration tutorial. Now before we begin, I'd like to mention that because each MLS system has slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. Now I'm going to take for granted that everyone knows how to log into the system, so we'll start by inserting our user ID and our password, then click login to begin. All right, today we're going to take a look at setting up a client portal in Matrix. But first off, what is a client portal? Think of a client portal as a repository for all of the content that you typically send to your customer from Matrix. This might include items such as stats, reports, driving directions, CMAs, direct email listings, and of course, auto emails. Now, whenever any of these items are sent to your client from Matrix, your client will first receive a notification in their email account that something new has arrived for them in their portal. Clicking on the link contained in the email will either open up that item or open up the client portal. In fact, here's an example of an active client portal that's already been configured. But again, this video is going to focus less on the functionality of the client portal and more on setting it up from the agent's perspective. So let's begin by first ensuring that we actually have a customer to send something to. And we'll do this by quickly adding a brand new contact, including their mandatory first name, last name, and email address. All right, so as soon as your contact's been added, you'll notice that their client portal has also been created. But like every newly created portal, this one's empty. So now let's add some content. And we'll begin by setting your contact information, which will appear here on the upper left-hand side. All right, so back in Matrix, we're going to access our contact information by hovering over the My Matrix tab, and then select Settings from the drop-down menu. Now from the Settings page, simply click on the My Information link and ensure that your public-facing contact information is correct. Assuming it is, and that there's no additional information that you'd like to add or modify, we're now going to click the Portal Information tab and select specifically which of this information to display on the portal. To do this, we'll start by first choosing an item from the drop-down list. And in this example, I'm going to select my name to appear on the top, followed by my phone number, fax number, and finally my email address. Okay, once this is complete, click on Save, we'll see that my contact information now appears on the top left side of the welcome page. All right, back in Matrix, now let's add some agent branding to the portal. And we'll do this by selecting the header and footer tab, and then by choosing either one of the system default banners or importing a custom one of our own. Of course, this is completely optional. If you ultimately decide that you prefer not to include a banner, then simply select that option and Matrix will just display your name in the header. But again, for this example, we're going to add some branding. And as I mentioned earlier, there are a couple of ways to do this. The first is by selecting one of the system default banners, then clicking on the preview button to see how this will look against the header background color. To change the color, perhaps to something that more closely complements your branding, either enter the color's hexadecimal number into the text box or click on the color block and choose an alternate one from the color wheel. If you find the header text starts to blend, feel free to update the text color as well. All right, again, if we refresh the client portal, we see that the header information is now changed to the banner I've just selected. But if you prefer to use custom branding rather than one of the system defaults, you'll need to upload a 745 by 85 pixel image that was created outside of Matrix. If you'd also like to include branding on printed reports, then you need to upload a separate 670 by 85 pixel header and footer banner for that. But again, that really falls outside the scope of this tutorial. For now, we're really only interested in ensuring that the client portal has custom branding. So with my image now uploaded and my background and text color correct, I'm going to click save. And if we refresh the portal, we see that the header is once again being updated. Now, because the mobile client portal is specifically formatted for mobile devices, the header dimensions and the information it shows are going to be different. 
At this stage, you may also want to select the mobile header tab and choose whatever you'd like to display from the photo options and the drop down list that are available there. All right, for the final step in setting up the client portal, now let's hover over the My Matrix tab and create a portal greeting for our clients. And this is a message that will ultimately appear on the portal's welcome page. So let's first select a salutation and then let's enter our greeting. And because this message is the same for each client, it really is the perfect place to share additional information with all your portal contacts at once. All right, so with my message now complete, I'm first going to save it and then I'm going to include an optional photo. Now, because I don't yet have a photo uploaded, I'm going to first need to select one from my hard drive. And now if we refresh our client portal, we see that there's now a photo and a message that appears at the top of the welcome pages contact section. One thing to note here is that your client is able to hide their portal greeting, either by clicking on the X or toggling it on or off using the speech bubble icon. This will then remain closed until they either choose to reopen it or until the agent updates their portal greeting. All right, well, this concludes the Matrix Client Portal configuration tutorial. For additional information on how to navigate the portal itself, I'd encourage you to watch the Matrix Client Portal video tutorial. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.